Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Mr. Tarkroxy. And in this video, I want to show you about the Rise of Nations Roblox new update. What to expect in here. Good news guys, I just got a new laptop so I can start making video again. So yeah, without any further to do, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing that you will expect in this new update is this recommended countries tab. So once you open up the game and then you can see here, you have the old list of country that you can still search up and select anything or you can have this recommended countries tab. So this I think is not really useful because we can play a specific country but um, this is just good for new player who don't know which nation to choose because there's a lot of nations like rise of nations so yeah this is the first thing that they added into the update all right guys so the second thing that they added here is the soviet skins before this there were only like um three skins so the united states world war ii germany world war ii and the default skin so the default is like Everyone comes into a game and they can have the default skin, but if you want two of these you need to buy So the new one is called the Russian Cold War So they have like this new skin so that for the tank I guess it is like the T-72 or T-72B uh, Also that I'm playing in a test server so all the skin is free if, if you want to play in the test server, there's the link in the description below and they added new skins for like attacker, fighter, and bomber. They also added new skin for the uh, artillery and the uh, ships. So the third thing that they added here is a big big one, especially for my Russian viewers. So they added the Russian Empire formable. Basically, you need to form all of these plus Eastern Europe, but I already invaded all of Eastern Europe, so you know already have it so they don't show these white circles if you don't know what this white circle is it is basically like the city that you need to have in order to form a, a formable like this in this case a russian empire so basically the russian empire is like the soviet union all of the land of the soviet union plus finland that's it and i recommend you to form the soviet union first because it will give you a buff in manpower and stability and money and then when you get a Soviet Union, you can invade Finland and then form the Russian Empire, which gives you more buff. The next thing they added here in this new update is the city overview. So in this economy tab, so you want to click A and you will see the button here, economy. You want to click on this city overview. So what this do is basically they show you all the list of your city, the population, the tier, like everything you need to know about a city but in this test server it is very laggy the city overview especially russia have a lot of cities so you have a lot of things to scroll through this can be very useful if you don't want to just go find like a specific city like example if i want to go tula i don't need to click here i just can go economy tab and city overview so guys another interesting thing that they added into the game is the biome so there's now a new biome which is the arctic so in order to search it up i mean in order to look for it you want to here in your uh bottom right want to click on biomes and then you can see here um different color so this purple or pink whatever you call it is arctic this white is like plain this um yellow is semi mountainous the green one is hilly and the other green one is jungle. Then there used to be mountainous but I think in the test server it is like a lag or something that they don't show it here. So the mountain used to be red color and this new biome I think it will also affect how the troop move and some country will be harder to invade. So guys, another useful thing that they added into the game is the justification bar. So if you don't know what this is, I will show you here. So basically, you want to justify war with a country that you want to invade, right? So you click this, conquest, and then just wait. So the default one in your top left is this. 
um, tab map modes and then you want to switch it to the diplomatic action and then you see this bar so it says justify war with the country that you are currently justifying with then the date that this thing will end so as the days go goes by this thing will try to fill up the green bar so once it is full you can declare war on the country that you want to invade another thing that they added into the game is they changed the country's color and they added a city so as you can see some countries have their color changed example maybe like venezuela i think yeah venezuela and ireland so i think ireland before it was green i'm not sure i think the green one is from hearts of iron but I don't remember, but I just know that they changed the color of some countries and they added a new city for Norway, Svalbard. Another thing that they will add into the game is events and modifier. This is simply when a random pop up show on your screen like this one and it can be a good thing or a bad thing. So once it's something like this, you need to read, hover over the button and you see what, what will be the effect when you click this button so you says here we lose a hundred twenty seven million dollar we have 15 percent tax cut and less resource output so some is just like this you don't have another choice but some like the modifier they have two choice you can either accept it or reject it so this is very important so another thing that they added into the game is the ongoing war tab so you want to click s on your keyboard or you want to go to your flag click on the military and you want to click on the ongoing wars tab so once you click you can see like what war are the countries of the world is fighting against so let's say i just declare war on poland so it says here russian Poli polish war then this russian slovak war so yeah you can see like the events all over the world another cool thing that they will add into the game is the military or the unit composition and the military view which shows the detail of your army so you can access this by either hovering over this like little tab here in your um, bottom right so once you hover on it it will says military composition so you can either um, do it this way or you can click on your flag go to your military and this is the military view so yeah thanks guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please hit that like and subscribe button this means a lot to me and thanks you guys for supporting all video when i didn't get to make any video because of my computer so yeah i appreciate all of those and merry christmas everyone hope you have a great holiday and stay safe thank you goodbye